Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And hi again, everyone. Beautiful weather day today for food to families. Also a beautiful night for lights on Sepulpa. Weather alerts tonight, a couple of frost advisories. These are winter storm watches and warnings along Interstate 80 through Iowa, Nebraska, and South Dakota. Big time snowstorm up there. For us, the biggest story in the next five to seven days will really be this hard freeze that we've been forecasting for the last 10 days. It's going to happen this weekend. We'll drop to around 25 in Tulsa. That should put us below the hard freeze and killing freeze category. Bartlesville down to about 21 Sunday morning. Looks like 32 at Holdenville. Mid 20s at Muskogee, Porham, Stigler over toward Tahlequah. 29 around Oak, uh, Oakmogee and Henrietta. But tomorrow morning at the bus stop, still going to be chilly. Even though the temperature right now is already in the lower 40s, I think we only drop to about 38 degrees. We need a coat and a hat tomorrow. Clear skies right now should stay clear throughout the night. The north winds at three miles an hour will slowly switch to the south and then they'll increase at about nine to 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and it will feel chilly. So here's future track tonight. Temperatures in the lower 40s, but watch what they do fall to about 38 degrees at five o'clock and then start to warm up here into the mid 60s as the clouds also increase late tomorrow afternoon with that breeze out of the south at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Then tomorrow night, this cold front means business. I'm telling you, this is the coldest one we've seen so far. Few scattered rain showers along that front. Near midnight, we're still at 54 degrees. By Saturday morning, we're down to 43 here at about 515. If you're going deer hunting, it's going to be cold Saturday morning here. Warmer at Stigler, Poto, and McAllister. It's still in the 50s there. But as the day goes on, everyone drops into this kind of chill as we only make it back up to around 44 degrees for the afternoon high Saturday afternoon. And then by Saturday night at 10 o'clock, we're already down to the freezing mark in Bartlesville. So if you're headed to a college football game this weekend, Saturday night, Tulsa layer up hot chocolate. It'll be a popular drink at Stillwater, 36 degrees. The winds will be out of the north in Norman at 7 p.m. Temperature at 38, it will feel colder. All right, Route 66 Marathon, the 5K Saturday morning, 35 degrees. The half and full marathon Sunday morning, 29 degrees. If you're taking a trip, say to Branson for old time Christmas, 36 on Saturday, 43 on Sunday with a mix of sun and clouds and a northeast wind at 15 miles an hour. Check this out. We, this does not happen but about five times a year. We hit the average high, we hit the average low. So 59 and 38. I know, pretty rare. All right, weather picks here tonight. We have some fabulous ones. How about this one from Zachary Hobbs, age 12 in Tulsa. Shirley Sonor sent this sunset in from Grand Lake, and Shirley Pike sent this from Hitchitall. They look like blue cumulus clouds, and the only thing I can figure out here is as the sun was setting, it just hit those clouds at that right angle and made the, the appearance that they were blue. They weren't actually blue. I've never seen that before, so that's what I'm going to go with. Partly cloudy tomorrow morning, 40 degrees at 7 a.m., noontime temp 58. We'll have, we'll have muddled skies and a temperature about 63 at 4 p.m., should see a high tomorrow of 64. 37 Saturday morning, 44 Saturday with that chance of rain again overnight. Should be out here by daybreak Saturday. 53 sunny on Sunday after that very cold start of 25. We're back to the 60s Tuesday and Wednesday. And right now, Thanksgiving looks like it's shaping up to be a 50% chance of rain. And it could be raining also for Black Friday, big shopping day. So we may have to buy an umbrella just to go shopping.